Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. As you can see, it's pretty messy. Uh, after the holidays and me coming in and out of, excuse me, dog. Uh, Rico, say hello to the people. Say hi, say hi. Oh, here comes the other one. He didn't want to miss anything. Now, Rocky, the handsome guy, he gets cold, he has arthritis, and I am knitting him a shirt, a sweater, but it's not done, and we put a t I put a t-shirt on him and tied it. My daughter came over for lunch and said she can't take him seriously with that crop top on him. <laughs> Who'd you rocky boy? Can't take you seriously, huh? That's my love and my other love over there. So back to my craft room. Yes, it's a little messy and uh, let's see. Um, this is usually where I set up that tripod right in front of you right there and do my filming. Uh, my everything got pushed to the side because I had an old table in here that was across here and it had my printer on it which is sitting in this corner carefully um, but my daughter needed a coffee table for now until she can get another a, a real one or one for herself and so um, we took it out of here so she could take it over to her place this uh, shelving unit my husband I saw it outside and he was um, packing his tools away and I asked him if he needed it he said not really so even though it's kind of big and bulky I thought that's better than nothing for now so I can keep my whips maybe out so I could see them uh, let's see I've been watching lots of videos because I've been homesick with COVID and I watch a lot of videos anyway but um I knew I needed to get in here and do some rearranging. So I thought, well, why not watch some videos, get some inspiration and go from there. So I was watching Doris of Rose Cottage Crochet and she had one of these over her door in her craft room and she had it filled with yarn. And I've seen it before in other other videos or websites. I Anyway, I thought it was a great idea, so I ordered one for myself. It's going to go behind that door there. This little room used to be my son's bedroom when my two daughters lived here. We have a four bedroom home. And let's go around and see. Okay, so just for fun, uh, that purse there, I made that out of I Love This Yarn Worsted Weight Yarn. Uh, I made it for my daughter for a beach bag, but when she filled it up, she said the bag basically hit the ground. So I have to really uh, tighten up the <laughs> the, the uh, strap or make, create a different type of a strap. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, in this corner here is a lot of some red heart that I had pulled out. I was going to donate, and then I decided to make my dad a Christmas stocking but then it wasn't turning out right so I ended up not going with that and in those bags down here behind my beautiful printer is uh, a bunch of uh, red heart uh, super saver that I can get rid of I purchased this little guy here or I got it for my birthday from my son I believe it was this is like a little what's that called a little tripod. Okay, this box is empty, so I can just toss that away. <laughs> so this is a little tripod, and I thought this would be great for when I wanted to do some tutorials. However, when I put my phone on it, the my phone just knocked it over. So I grabbed some handheld weights from my husband's closet. I've never seen him use these, but I thought I'm just going to somehow uh, strap it around the center here and hopefully that'll be enough to hold it down so I could do some tutorials. This is my um, tripod, which is really handy and it came with this um, 10 inch light. Um, so yeah, that I had one before that 
and it was just a little too rickety. This one isn't all that sturdy either, but it's not like I move it around. So I thought that's that's gonna work for me. Uh, let's see. I got lots of yarn over the holidays. I'm still a little out of breath because I'm still getting over this uh, uh, coronavirus. So in this bag are my Christmas presents that I haven't put away yet. And some of the things I got were a couple of skeins my husband got me. He didn't know it till I opened it, but this uh, Malabrigo Arroyo yarn in glitter, the color glitter, it's gorgeous. It's this brownish um, uh, mustard color, and there's a tad bit of light gray right there. Anyway, I got a couple skeins of those. This Hawthorne fingering in Slab Town I really love this. I got one sometime back earlier this year, last year, and I loved the color and how it had little bits of um, of the um, this kind of yellow in it. And anyway, I ordered a couple more of these because I would like to make myself a t-shirt with just this yarn, or maybe this yarn with a little bit of accent of this color here. And I purchased a like a 10 pack of Love Wool Addicts for, um, to make a, a cardigan that I wanted to make. It was holding two fingering weights together. Um, but when I held the Hawthorne that I wanted to use with this yarn, uh, it was just too thick. So now I've got plenty of this, which I could probably, well, there's a lot of things I could do with it because I do have plenty, but each skein's 25 grams. So it's not going that far. Ooh, what else do I have in here? Oh. I finally visited my local yarn shop and they had this gorgeous yarn that I could not pass up. Look at those colors. I don't, let's see. There's gray, light gray, dark gray. There's some olive green. And is that, oh, dark brown I see in here. Mm, yeah, I fell in love with this and so I'm looking for the perfect project to use this. I only got one because I was going to make a hat or some fingerless gloves or both. And um, then I thought, you know, I could use it with a two color pat a top pattern. This could be like the accent color and then I can have a main color to go with it. And I even thought of this Etrophil Baby Can. It's acrylic yarn, but I think it would look really nice with this as the accent, the gray as accent. So we'll see. I uh, definitely am going to go on a yarn diet. I haven't done very well since um, the holidays because I've been homesick and bored and not feeling good. And what do we do when we don't feel good? <laughs> we cheer ourselves up with some yarn orders. <laughs> So let's see, this is River Rock. This is Malabrigo Washted. Let me get this. Yeah, Malabrigo Washted. It's a real pretty color. It's like grayish blue in there. Anyway, I got a couple of those for Christmas that my husband didn't know he got me until I opened it. Oh, what else do we have here? I did start a cardigan and I'm using um, one strand of this Charlemont Valley Yarn Charlemont, which is a superwash merino mulberry silk polyamide. And I'm holding a strand of this with this uh, stroll fingering and pearlescent tonal. And this is that, uh, it's a garter stitch cardigan called the Girlfriend's Cardigan. And it's said to hold a light fingering and a light fingering, and these have a ton of yardage in them, so I thought they would look, were light fingering. Um, but as I'm knitting with them, they feel, uh, well, together, they feel a, a little more than a light fingering, but 462 yards in 100 grams, that seems like a light fingering to me. And this one as well uh, had a lot of yardage, so I knew it would go far, 400 and... 39 yards and um, but the combination of the two is really nice uh, I ordered some mighty stitch and I made a blanket for my daughter 
I didn't use this black. Actually, it was the Brava Bulky, I believe it is. Let's see. Yeah, this Brava Bulky I used to make my daughter a blanket. I used a couple strands of uh, Amigo in um, sterling or titanium color. And this uh, Brava, and then I used black Amigo, which this, ooh, there was my yarn. This whole row right here is mostly Amigo yarn. I am in love with Hobie Amigo, holding it two strands or three strands uh, together to make blankets. And yeah, I had just used some black Hobie Amigo. Uh, anyway, it came out really nice. Oh, I even had some charcoal uh, Amigo in there. And um, yeah, it's this really soft yarn. It's supposed to be kind of anti-pilling. Uh, let's see, I did order a Santa sack and I got it a couple weeks after Christmas. And uh, here's, there's one more stuff back there. But what I ended up getting is the Mandala watercolors in this uh, beautiful color here, which isn't my colors at all. But with three of them, I thought I could make a little jacket for my daughter's best friend who had a baby last summer or I could pair it with something else and make a little baby blanket. And um, so that was one thing that came. Then this three pack of basic stitch, and I saw a lot of people's um, yarn that came in their Santa sacks. And so even though I knew it was likely that I was gonna get the same thing, I was still just a tad disappointed when I got a lot of the same thing. So that's that. And then I got some of the um, organic cotton. Three skeins of a turquoise organic cotton. Well, there's lots of goodies in here. Um, we could talk about later. I ordered from Ikea a little string of lights uh, to put up on my yarn. So it looks like a very small amount or small lights now that I see the the little box in the glass there but we'll make it work I can always order more <laughs> this down here here's the stocking I started my dad and I just was not happy with it so I decided hold off you know I could always work on it later and give it to him next year but have it something I'm really proud of you can see the the puckering here where the deer is the deer I re-knit twice. Um, the second time, actually, I've, I've re-knit it three times. The second time, I double-stitched. Uh, I just did a whole uh, square of white, and then I double-stitched, and it just did not... It was taking forever. I think that was the main reason why I went back to knitting. I did increase my uh, knitting needle from a 6 to a 7, but when I was done with this deer for the third time. Um, and I was changing knitting needles to go back to do work on the cuff, which this cuff didn't come out very good. It needs to be proportioned better. Um, I realized I didn't change both needles to a seven for the deer. I changed one needle to a seven, the other one was a six. So that might explain why I'm having trouble with that. In here is my Douglas Cardi that I was working on before the holidays and I need to pick up again. Isn't that cute? That's going to be really cute. Um, the, this is by Andrea Mowry and I'm using some of the Hobie Amigo is the this whitish color and then some jeans, Lion Brand jeans yarn. Uh, that's Hobie Amigo there. Lime Brand jeans are the um, amber, uh, greenish, and ruby color. Well, I think that's all I have to show you. I mean, I could continue on, but I just really wanted to say hello because I haven't seen you guys in a while. And I'm just, like, I have no energy to shower, put makeup on, and um, let me see what else I got, <laughs> and um, get in front of the camera. As you can see, I'm already winded here, just talking a little bit. So hopefully I'll get over this. Everybody else has pretty much gotten over it. Uh, I'm, of course, the last one.
kind of no surprise to me. But anyway, uh, I did order some Cascade Yarns uh, Cartwheel. I saw this color on, I was watching Cinnamon Stitches and she had ordered some recently and I wanted to make stockings for the family and also a um, Christmas skirt, a Christmas tree skirt. So I'm going to use this yarn. I've got, I believe six skeins of them, five or six, I think six. Um, and these are all the same color. It's just, you know, what part of the skein is showing. So you can, if you look in here, you can see the greenish and reddish color from over here. So I think that's gonna make a beautiful uh, Christmas tree skirt. I'm debating if it's something I wanna tackle now or if I wanna do it at the end of next summer. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Uh, so the reason I came in here is because my husband, it's going to be bright, put in a new light. There was like a track light and it had three lights and it barely lit anything up. And so that's the need for this guy here. Um, but now it's going to be great filming in here and it's just going to add so much more light. Or when I come in here in the evening when it's dark and what else? Oh, there's my little attempt uh, up there at the top. That's my attempt at um, mosaic crochet. Uh, Tina Thorn, Thor something. She has a blanket uh, called Queen. And I had started that and that's about as far as I got. It takes so long that I, <laughs> I guess I get a little impatient. So I went through a cotton phase well, I went through many phases since I've started knitting and crocheting. I started knitting in 2016, but I made uh, my daughters each a little backpack, was it la a couple summers ago? And so I was so excited how good it came out. I decided to get quite a few colors in the 24 seven Lion Brand cotton. Um, here is yarn I'd probably use for tank tops. Uh, la Mia linen cotton in a couple colors. Um, DMC Natura Bamboo Pop. Here's some Kobu over here. But those are, that blue no longer is a blue that they carry. It, this is, I got this before they upgraded or updated their, their colors. This one I'm really looking forward to using. This is La Mia Lux Mercerized Cotton. And it's a gorgeous rust color. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's see, I wonder, does it say if it's a... Kind of looks like a sport weight. It doesn't really look thick enough. Yeah, it's got to be sport or fingering. So anyway, I know I keep talking and then I get out of breath. And <laughs> so anyway, just wanted to say hello. Packaging supplies. I have to get in here and get organized again. I got a steamer, that high life steamer, um, clothing steamer for Christmas for my daughter Brianna. And this little room, like I said, it used to belong to my um, son when my two daughters lived here. And then my husband um, painted for me and he takes such good care of me. I'm just very happy. So I uh, hope you're doing well and I will hopefully see you all soon. Bye.